of each other. Welcome back to the channel, right? Mm -hmm. And what channel are they on? Cacadino 3! There you go. Hey, we got these toolboxes today. Um, heart toolboxes. Picked them up at Walmart. And going to do an unboxing and a review. Fill, hopefully fill them up with tools today. And I uh, thought you might be interested and want to see what these boxes are like and see if you're interested in getting them for yourself. Stay tuned and see how this goes. All right. Now we got to get them back down off of there. Why did I put that up there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys I just want to give you a little bit of background on what we're doing today first of all uh, we got this new shop garage that we're setting in here and um, I never have had a mechanic style toolbox tool chest before and we got this concrete floor which is really nice so it's gonna work out good to have a rolling tool chest for working on projects and I've been looking for one and looking online looking at used stuff on marketplace went and looked at one in person but I decided that I think for the money, I wanted to try these Hart uh, brand toolboxes from Walmart. And so um, that's what we're, we're unboxing today. I'll roll in a little bit of video. I'll roll in a little bit of video of what we've been using for a workshop. Since we bought this property, there was no outbuildings or anything here. And so um, we used a part of the basement, the, the, the unfinished part of the basement basically as a workshop and so it is full of tools that need to come up here to the to the garage and I need some place to store them and I still need a lot of organizing and stuff out here but this is going to help us stay organized and hopefully be nice to use along the way. I'm just a DIYer uh, uh, kind of work on home projects not professional or anything so this is from a homeowner's perspective it's not a someone who's making their living out of a toolbox uh, so that's kind of where I'm coming from but I do look at this as a purchase that's gonna last me a really long time and hopefully um, you know be the last toolbox like this I'll need to buy I'm, I'm hoping so anyway it's a 36 inch wide box and a top box and a base and you can look up the uh, the model numbers or well I'll put up the model numbers on the video here from Hart uh, brand from Walmart and I just picked these up in person at my local Walmart they had two sets of them on hand the top box is 150 pounds and the bottom box is 200 pounds so if you go to the store to buy these you're going to need to find somebody to help you they do have flat rolling carts that they can uh, assist you with but luckily the day I was there they had a couple young guys and they took care of it all they put them on the cart and they put them in the back of my truck for me and so I just had to get them unloaded when I got home but they uh that that's one thing to watch out when you go there it's not going to fit in a shopping cart and yeah. you're probably gonna need some help so uh, we're going to start getting these unboxed and uh see how that goes we'll kind of walk you along and see what we see as we take them out of the boxes and uh <laughs> as we take them out of the boxes and look at the quality and the build on these items so we'll try to show you up close so that you know what you're dealing with if you thought about buying these let's go we got some keys here. We got some little rubber feet for the bottom. We got an extension cord for the, um, the there's a power strip and two USB ports inside the top box. And I got a question. I bet y'all are wondering the same thing, right? What are you wondering? I don't well, know. As you can see, a five and a half year old fits just fine in the top of this toolbox. In case you need to store one in there for any okay. amount of time. I didn't even hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt? No, it says it's too dark. It says it's dark. So I could put a lamp in there because there's a power cord right there. You want to sleep in the garage at night? No. What? You'd be comfy cozy in there. No. I would miss mommy and make all of my stuff in Oh, you can bring your stuff in, that's fine. Hey, mama? Uh, I'm not sure about mama. Should be. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so as you can see, we got that uh, un we got that unboxed. Uh, so far, this is feeling pretty pretty tough. The finish is a kind of a, a little bit of a, it's not super smooth. It's kind of got a matte, rougher finish. Uh, not like bad rough, but just a little bit of a texture to the finish on the, on the metal here. Um, looks like it's got the lock there. And the drawers are... Uh, oh, I just found something. On both sides, there's handles for you to lift it up. Oh yeah, we got handles. Yeah, That's how we're going to lift it up there. Yeah, see? Okay. So we've got these um, blue anodized looking uh, handles here. It does seem to roll really nice and smooth. It takes a little bit of pressure at first because you're locking or kind of cocking the self close mechanism. So far, I'm uh, thinking it's looking pretty good. Um, uh, I had looked at one of the local stores in person at a DeWalt version of a, of a rolling tool chest with a base and a, and a top stack. It was 24 inches wide. It um, was more of a gloss finish rather than its matte finish. I don't know that it had self-closed drawers. It did have ball bearing drawers, but uh, it was similar price. And this is another 12 inches, 12 inches wider. So it uh, looks to me like this is the better buy for the homeowner. The DeWalt one I thought looked kind of uh, homeowner value, homeowner quality as well. It, uh, you know, looked similar from what I'm seeing here so far. We'll get it loaded up and, and see what we think later, but uh, so far, so good. I'm gonna move this out of the way. We'll unbox the box. Tough plastic. Maybe you could just squeeze a little bit for me and I can squeeze the last. Oh, as soon as I get it, it pops. You want to get that little bit? Oh, oops. <laughs> but I got this. As you can see, the bottom drawer can hold your other five and a half year old in case you have two of them. So one at the top, one at the bottom. Is it comfy in there? Kind of. I like the other one better because it has squishy on Okay, so it says the bottom one's 200 pounds capacity. Uh, again, this is, oh, here's our wheels and our accessories that we'll need to install. Um, the drawers seem well built at 36 inches wide. It looks like there's just a little bit of give in this bottom, but this is uh, designed for hand tools here. So, so I'm thinking it's not gonna be too saggy in the middle, but uh, I don't know. I'm sure you, you could overload it that way. Um, Again, it's got that sort of little bit of a texture to the finish. Feels heavy duty. At first glance, I would say, see there you go, get a little wobble on that drawer. I mean, I, I'm sure you're getting what you pay for. If you go to the upper end stuff, you're gonna get a higher quality. See like there's a little plastic coming out of the end of that. Look here, son. Uh, that, that'll stay in there. Uh, Looking so far like plenty good for for homeowner DIY use. Uh, 
One thing I noticed when looking for used toolboxes is they still uh, want a lot of money for used toolboxes. And I'm sure certain ones are going to have ball bearings and, and be nice and worth the money. But um, some of them, you know, if they're just basic old toolboxes, they still want a lot of money. So at this price point, I think you might be getting the, uh, the, more, modern, the more modern style of the drawers, uh, mechanics and all that. And uh, might be something to think about as you're shopping for these. All right, so I've just pulled a piece of the cardboard that came with it uh, behind there. I'm gonna flip this on its back and we're gonna work on putting the, the wheels on now. Got these wheels here. Bracket seems pretty heavy duty. The wheel is plastic. It's got a little mag kind of look to the wheel. Not the very heaviest duty wheel setup that, that I've seen. Just it looks like a bolt for the axle and a locking nut there. I see brakes. There's like brakes on two of them. These bolts almost look like stainless steel. So that'd be nice if they were. Let's consult the little manual on putting these wheels on. Okay, so they want you to put the handle on first. Got the handle on. Okay, handle's on. Swivelly ones on the same side as the handle. See if we can get my wife to help me put it up there. No, no it's a I test. Oh, the five year old wants to do it, but I think it's going to take more than the five year old. We've got it unboxed. We're pretty much liking the quality of it and the features seem nice. The only thing that I could say so far that I'm not sure about is the width of it 
could create a little bit of uh, floppiness in the bottom of the drawer because you know the thin the thickness of the metal and the and the width of the of the drawer so so I'm being a little bit critical about that but I just want to tell you all the things I can about seeing this in person because when you go to the store and you see in the box you can't really um, you know you don't know what you're dealing with until you get unboxed we'll start getting some tools up here and then uh, see how it's coming together for us As I was saying before, this garage needs a lot of organizing still. This is just sort of the initial dump of tools that we were needing in the moment. And so this is the spot probably where this toolbox is gonna go. Keep in mind that even though it's 36 inches wide, the handle sticks out maybe another four inches out there. So if you only have 36 inches, you may wanna leave the pull handle off if you're not gonna be moving around a whole lot. Uh, but for me, it's gonna work out perfect because that little handle kind of goes up next to the uh, electrical box. Yeah. And so that way it won't bump and, and smash into the electrical box too much. So, uh, so that's gonna work out fine. I'll show you that a little closer. Hey, well, I just want in your head. My turn. Can I do it? It's a month in here. Sister, you should do it. No. Okay. It doesn't click to me. <laughs> it's going to take a while. The actual width is 35 and three quarters. And the depth is 24 and an eighth. Uh, so it's pretty deep, deep box. And these drawers, they got a lot of room way back in the back here. This is a lot of storage per drawer here. All right, guys. Well, just want to do a little wrap up on this toolbox project. We don't have it nearly filled up with all the tools that's down in the basement that are going to come up here. I might show a little B-roll of that here at the very end, but um, that's the next step here. We are set up, unboxed and set up. I hope the video was valuable for you. And I do think that the quality is very decent and the price point, you know, hey, it's still 600 some dollars to get this thing home. But uh, compared to you know your other options out there i know you can spend a whole lot on a toolbox and my needs are definitely not uh you know in that arena there of, of high-end toolbox stuff but for the homeowner the diy guy i think this is very respectable and i hope you uh found this video helpful so anyway thanks for watching the cock -a doodle crew and stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> all right thanks y'all have a good one Bye. Bye. Now can I start? Now it's time to start. Yes, you're going to be loud now. Yeah.